In this tutorial, I'm gonna be going over how to create a top-down movement camera. So as you can see here, when our mouse goes up to the top of the screen, it'll move forward. When it goes to the bottom of the screen, it'll move backwards. To the side of the screen, it'll move sideways, so on and so forth. So I'm gonna be showing you how to do this with the Logic Nodes add-on, so you don't have to know how to code or anything. It's really easy, really simple to do. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you don't know what the Logic Nodes add-on is, the all I will have a link to a tutorial uh, on how to install it and so on, an introduction to it. But other than that, let's get into it. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and select our camera and we're going to go Alt G and Alt R. So what that's going to do is it's going to clear the rotation and the location. So I'm going to go ahead and go G, Z and move this up. All right, so to about this, good. I'm going to rotate this as well. Um, so you can go R, X and then hold control and that will do it incrementally. So I'm going to go about there. So we're just going to go ahead and get the camera into a good position. Uh, yeah, yep. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and click on here and click and hold and drag this out. Now once we've done that, we can go ahead and change this from the 3D view to the node editor. And if you have the plugin installed, you'll see down here we have the uh, little logic nodes tab so we're going to click that and we're going to click new all right so now that that is done what we're going to go ahead and do is just do a quick thing to make sure everything's working so first of all i'm going to go shift a and i'm going to go ahead and add a always and i'm going to go ahead and add it end game now the reason for this is I just want to test that everything's working. So if we press play right now, make sure we're in Blender game. As you can see, the game's playing, so this isn't set up correctly. So we're going to go ahead and apply. We're going to go here, and we're going to click Apply Logic to Selected Object. So this is a selected object. So now if we press play, you can st see it's still not working. That's because we need to go ahead and save. All right, so you're going to go ahead and navigate to whatever folder you want to go to. In this case, this is just the folder where I'm going to save it. And then you want to give it a name. And then you're going to save it in the place where you want. You're not going to want to save this in another place where there is another um, another one of these files. Because if you save it in the same place, then it will create a file, the, the file that holds all the stuff with, in the same place. And then you have problems with them overlapping, I'm pretty sure. So you want to save it in its own folder. So I've got its own folder here, and I'm going to click Save. Now if we press play, as you can see, it's still not working. So we're going to go ahead and go force code update. Now you can see it's working. All right. And um, by the way, if you want to play the game just easily like this, just hover over the viewport and press P on the keyboard and that's going to play the game. All right, so this is all set up now. So we're going to go shift A and what we want to go ahead and add is a mouse. So you can either add it here by mouse data or you can also go ahead and search it up here. So I'm going to go mouse data. So what, how we're going to go ahead and do this is we're going to go ahead and get these values and it's going to tell us where the mouse position is. So if I have it all the way over here, that mouse position is 1. And if I have it all the way over here, it's 0. So you can see right here, what it's going to be is in the middle, there's going to be a, it's going to be 0.5. So we're going to come across a bit more of that in the future, but for now you just got to realize that and the X is this direction and the Y is this direction. All right, so that's all we need to know for now. So let's go ahead and get a bit more into this. So what we want to go ahead and do is when our mouse gets over here, we want to go ahead and say to the logic nodes, go ahead and move the camera in this direction. So the way we can go ahead and do that is go Shift A, and you want to go ahead and find the logic operator. So you can just go ahead and search it in here, logic, and you can see logic operator here. It can also be found in one of these menus. I'm not sure which menu it's in. Uh, it's probably in here. So right here, it's logic operator operators there. All right. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and grab this this X and we're going to plug this into here all right so now that we've done that let's going to leave that we want to go ahead and change this B value from a none to a float so like I said before 
this screen, this number here, is goes from 0 to 1. So we want to detect when our mouse is over here, since this one is this direction here. We want to detect if it's over here. So the way we can do that is we can go 0 0.9 or 0.8, depending on how close you want the mouse to actually be over here. But once we've done that, what you'll see is uh, if we go ahead and add a end, end game, uh, what you should see is you should press play and we want to go ahead and show mouse and let's go ahead and refresh imported nodes. So the reason this is not working is just because what we need to go ahead and do is change this from an A equals B to A. If A is greater than B, we are going to send out a signal. So, as you can see, when we get close over here, it shuts down. Um, so I'm going to go 0.8 just because I feel like that's a better number. So now you can see when we get over there, it shuts down. So what we want to go ahead and do is make it move in this direction. So the way we can do that is we can go Shift A. So you're going to go ahead and find the node under the Apply Movement, Rotation and Force to Game Object. So we add that in and we're going to go ahead and connect this in. All right. So one thing we want to do is when we apply movement, we don't want to apply it in the local. So let's say we want to move this direction it's going to be very hard and you're going to have to put weird numbers in here because the camera's on an angle so when we try to go on the Y it's going to go like upwards sort of and we don't want that. So you're just going to go ahead and disable apply local. So now as you can see down here we have our axes. It's going to follow this axis it doesn't matter what how this is pointing. So th that's what we want for this camera. So when we our mouse is up here, the camera actually moves moves forward in this direction instead of uh, moving down or up or in a direction we don't want. So now that we've done that, we also have to go ahead and add a X, Y, and Z movement. So we're going to change this from none to a vector. So we're going to go zero, and then we're going to go, let's say, one, and then one of these again. Right. It's just like you do a normal vector, so you can see 0, comma, 0, uh, 0, comma, 1, 0. So that comma just tells that that's the next bit of the uh, vector. Alright, so now if we go ahead and come over here, and we need to go refresh custom nodes, uh, sorry, refresh imported nodes. It's not doing anything. So why is it not doing anything? Well, it doesn't know which object to it apply it to. So we're going to go Shift A, and we're going to go Own, and we're going to add that in. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and connect this up, and we can go Refresh Imported Nodes, and as you can see, it's working, but we're going the wrong direction. So the last one is this is up, I believe. So this is Z in Blender. In this middle one is Y, and this first one is X. So in this case, we're going to go 0 0.1 on the X. So as you can see here, 0 0.1, comma, 0, 0. So that's just going to go in this direction. So now, as you can see, it's moving in the correct direction. All right, so from now on, it's a very, very simple thing to do. All we've got to go ahead and do is duplicate these two nodes down all right and i'm going to plug this in here so we're going to do this another time for these but first of all we're just going to do it with these nodes so we're going to go ahead and connect this owner into this game object so now they both know which object they're going to apply movement to and what we're going to go ahead and do here is we're going to change this from 0 0.1 to minus 0 0.1 and here instead of 0 0.8 we're going to go 0 0.2 because like I said before, it goes from 0 to 1. So 0 0.2 is going to be the opposite of 0 0.8. So it's going to, on the other side of the screen, when you move over to there, that's going to be the correct, um, correct bit of the screen. So it's going to be the same amount, but on the opposite side of the screen. One other thing we need to fix up is we need to change this, grab this out and plug this into the A instead. 
And here we want to change this from A is greater than B to A is less than B. So what you should see now is if we refresh imported nodes here and we go ahead and come over here, as you can see, whichever side of the screen we're on, the camera moves. All right. So all we're going to do it do now is do it for the up and down. So it's pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and grab these and we're going to duplicate this down. All right. So now that we've done that, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to get this Y because this Y is the up and down of the uh, 2D screen because that's axis we're using right now. We're using two dimensional kind of vector things for these. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to grab this and we're going to plug this into the A and we're going to plug this into the A. So you don't really need to change anything here. As you can see, these uh, will work with the up and down. But all we need to do now is we need to change which direction these go in. So instead of going in the 0 point um, in the first one, so that would be on the x we're going to go on the second one which is y so we can just go ahead and copy and paste from the first one so the first bit of these before the first comma change that to zero zero so as you can see it's zero point uh zero comma zero comma zero so we're going to go into the middle zero and we're going to paste that in there so we're going to do that with both of them as you can see we did up here and now we're going to uh go ahead and connect this game object into all of these so that they're all connected up now we go refresh imported nodes and as you can see it's almost working but it's going in the wrong direction. So we can easily fix this up so I'm going to go copy and I'm going to go paste and I'm just going to go ahead and remove the minus off this one. So now you can see it's going in the correct direction and it's working all fine. So there you can see but um, before before we go, let's say we want to make this a bit more smooth. We want the camera to not be so jerky when we are moving in a direction. The way we can do this is we can go Shift A, cursor to selection, so the cursor is going to be here. We're going to go ahead and add an empty, and this em camera is going to peer into to this empty. We're going to go ahead and remove this node tree from this camera, and we're going to add it to it, the empty. So now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and select our camera. We're going to come here to the uh, object options and we're going to come down here and we're going to come to uh, relations extra and this is just extra things you can do with the relationships of parents uh, parent structure relationships you know when this moves this moves and we're going to enable slow parent and we're going to change this to 10 so the reason we do this is when this moves as you can see this moves around but smoother so what this means for us is when our camera moves It moves nice and smoothly, it doesn't jerk around so much.